During COVID, we realized that just the scale of what we're dealing with, uh, the scale of the reporting, we just, as a small newsroom, a weekly magazine, we didn't have the capacity ourselves. And in a world of rampant disinformation, misinformation, we needed credibility on this particular issue. We needed people that we could trust. So I approached Mia, asked her if we could kind of tag team on it. And it's been going now for three odd years. Because he pretty much has um, resources to dig deep into a specific subject. So they become experts in healthcare and the health, health industry, health policy. And that's something that I suppose a lot of newsrooms, like our newsroom, doesn't, doesn't actually have at the degree of depth that Becca Sisa does. So I think, you know, COVID taught us that you need to have proper skills and know what you're talking about when it comes to, to health policy. For me, it's a, a big issue of trust. Um, you know, in this world of, of misinformation, disinformation, audiences need to know that what they're getting is something they can believe in. And the Bekasisa material is meticulously researched, it's carefully fact-checked, and it's embedded in this narrative journalism. And within that, it's also situated within the broader context, the socio-economic context, the political context. So if you consider an, an, an issue such as gender-based violence, um, Becca Sisa picks it up, they do a broad ranging story on it. They'll go, they'll speak to individual people and basically just tell the story, tell this, this awful national issue through the eyes of particular people. And that makes for a great narrative um, which obviously our, our audience finds really engaging. Becca Sisa has this great access to health experts, to scientists, and they're able to take the information that they get from there and break it down in a way that the audience can understand it. And that's hugely important because it's a very specialized area and it can be very inaccessible and difficult to understand. Um, and it's just this condensing of complicated information that makes it very accessible for our audience. Financial Mail speaks to a business audience mostly, sort of policy makers, business leaders. Um, and I think that it's, it's, it's somewhat different to have Becca Sisa working with us because I think it speaks to a different audience that, you know, from who they typically speak to previously. So I think, it, I think it's, it certainly exposes our readers and our audience to a new way of thinking about, about stories. It's certainly added value from our side and I think it's, it's fabulous.